So we've got the, the color sewn. We have prepared it for these. And if you look at it, you're going to look at it and go, well, this is all bunchy. It's bubbly. Yes, it is. Your collar is never going to lay flat. It's going to curl and it's going to be around the neck. And so it's not supposed to lay flat. We're trying to get it so that it is smooth in its final position. We've now favored it so it'll go around. We've got to finish the favor so that it can come up, up out of the collar band and roll down. In order to do that, we need to take out the um, basting. This last bit of basting here it was attaching our interfacing to the collar. And so we're going to pull that basting out because the three pieces of fabric need to be able to slide independently of each other. Because it's basting, it will pull out fairly quickly. And because, remember, when you basted this, you went from center back towards the style edge. It's clipped in the center anyhow, and so it doesn't have to pull very far to get across that. And so you can pull it out, get it unpicked. Okay. What has to happen here is the collar is going to be sewn in a collar band that's around the shirt, and so it has to fold that direction. Okay. If you remember from the cuff, it will tend to bubble unless we favor that edge. So if you will lay your collar, so the collar side is down. Mine's easy to tell because my collar side is orange, my under collar is green. Lay the collar side down. Just take a ruler, and if you'll just take a ruler and kind of ease it over towards the edge, and I'm just going to take my seam allowance of my fabric and fold it back over the ruler. And if I take that seam allowance of the fabric, fold it back over the ruler, and then pin it in place there as it is folded. If you look at that, you can see that it's beveled that edge. I'm getting the, the under collar coming out. You can see that some of the interfacing is starting to show. It takes those three layers and allows them to slip around each other much in the same fashion and lay smooth against each other as if they were coming out of a collar band. Be careful at the tip not to flatten your collar again. Let that tip still tend to curl like it wants to. Got that edge pinned in place. Okay. So when that's pinned, you can see that it did slightly bevel or slightly change the, those edges so they don't necessarily line up to each other. Now if you lay this flat, if you were to lay this flat, you can see my collar is bubbled. Yes it is. It's not going to lay flat though, it's always going to be coming out of a collar band and so it's allowing it to lay flat and be smooth when it's curled. So when that's curled and when that's in place now, we want to get that steamed in place. 